Katie from Four Seasons and about 10 days ago we posted a video inviting our customers to email us to enter a drawing for 10 $50 Four Seasons gift cards. So that's a total of $500 in winnings. And you didn't need to send a story or a picture about your mom, but I said if you wanted to, you could. And we received so many great emails. We have it just our little basket here is filled and I would have to say our hearts are filled too. Um, so we've received a ton of entries. So today I'm going to share just a few of them that were really touched my heart. I hope I don't cry. I'm not really a crier, but some of these really were very emotional for me. Um, and so I'm going to read a few of our really special ones and then we're going to do the drawing. Okay. So the first one came, this was, this one made me laugh out loud. My sister and I were not cleaning the house. The ritual now that mom worked was Saturday and the house was cleaned. Instead, we were at the piano singing and enjoying ourselves. Mom came up from the basement where she was doing the laundry and she was not happy with us. She asked us if she was our flunky fairy. <laughs> we knew we were in trouble, but we couldn't help ourselves and we started to giggle. Mom saw the humor in the comment as well and laughed with us. We got busy cleaning. However, after that, flunky fairy became a family code word for teasing if we weren't helping. And mom laughed with us until her passing a number of years ago. I really enjoyed that one. And I wanted to share with you that one really made me laugh out loud. Uh, this one was an entry that um, not only did this daughter tell me about her mom, but another daughter did too. Um, this one writes, my mom has one of the kindest hearts and has always been there for me, even when I've made mistakes. I'm her twin and I get my strength and sass from her. I know this family, that's true. <laughs> she is one amazing person and I'm glad she is my mom. I love that one. Uh, this one's from one of our employees. This is Marna in Iowa City and she sent a picture of her grandmother. Is that not an amazing picture? And tomorrow I'm gonna send out an email on Mother's Day. A lot of you sent pictures and I'm gonna be send a, a nice big collage of all the great pictures we got. Now, I mentioned in the video 10 days ago that I was a bad cook. Do you remember that? And I said, send me some recipes. So I did get a couple recipes that I'm going to include in the email. This is a cauliflower layered salad. That really sounds good to me. I do like cauliflower, so I'm excited about that little recipe. Um, this one is from someone also I know. Um, it says, Katie, you know my mom. She's a jack of all trades and she has taught all of us, no matter how hard it is, to just pick up and push forward. Be honest, nothing is free, and the best things in life are earned. She's been very supportive of my shop and helped me do so much inside without any formal training. She always goes with me to all my shows and she's the best bucket person ever. Um, I don't cook, so not sure about recipes, but my mom makes a mean Salisbury steak in the crock pot or a yummy lasagna. Um, so this is a very special person to me and I wanted to read that because I do love this woman. And you know what? Almost all of these stories, not only people said they love their mom, but how strong their moms were. And I, I really loved that. That was really special. A couple more. Um, as summer approaches, I think often of my mother. Alice as she made a great potato salad. She was a secret, was not to be too stingy with chopped eggs. So she also made a simple boiled dressing that she cut with store-bought mayonnaise. That made the potato salad less sweet and with a tart edge. So that's a recipe I'm gonna include in my email as well. Oh, this one. I like this because this is true for me. How about the first line? My mom used to drive me crazy. Yes, I can relate to that. Now she's there to listen and help me as I have my own children. She understands that I'm what I'm going through and is there for me. She's become a great Nana to my kids and does anything for them. I'm glad I have the type of mom I do and I hope to be half the mom she is. I love that one. Okay, now this one, this one really did make me cry. Um, so this one wrote, Hi Katie, you know my mom very well. She helped build the leading lady and the leading lady helped build her. And the leading lady was our plus size store here in Geneseo. Um, 
before we combined it into Four Seasons. When she went to work for your dad in approximately 1977 to 78, she gained confidence in herself and made some fantastic lifelong friendships. This year wasn't an easy one. Mom took care of dad every day. She was stronger than I ever thought she'd be. I'd love to share her favorite recipe, but I don't think you want a book. <laughs> and that was a very special entry as well, and it did make me cry. And the last one. Um, my mom will be 92 years old a week before Mother's Day. She lives by herself, does her own housekeeping, driving and shopping. Circumstances permitting, my mom gets up every morning and puts on earrings, necklace, and sometimes a bracelet, which was made by me, so she can look nice for whatever happens during the day. She loves God, her family, and a nap in the afternoon. She is my inspiration. So I hope you enjoyed me sharing some of these with you. I just couldn't resist some of them. I read every single one of them and they were so amazing. Okay, now we get to pick 10 winners out of our basket of fun here. And I gotta really dig deep. We gotta smoosh them around, get them all, get them all in there. Look how many we have. Okay, so the first winner here. So now this this is a good friend of mine, Kelly Williams. That was not rigged. She is my friend. I can't believe I pulled that out. She's great. Okay, let's pull out another one. The next winner is Emma Hollers. And if you're a winner, we will contact you via email. Mix it up good here. We really gotta mix it up. Okay, the next winner is Lynn Rausch. This is number three, right? Christos is helping me keep track. We need 10 winners. Number three. Next one is number four. The number four winner is Marianne Kakari. Marianne, congratulations. You're number four. Okay, the number five winner. Number five is Oh, Kathy Knievel, she used to work for us in Iowa City, and she, she did send me a lovely story about her mom. I remember that. Okay, who's next? Number six is Terry Perkins. She does right. My mom is in heaven. She loved banana cream pie, and I miss her dearly. It's number six, right? Okay, number seven. Number seven is coming right here. Uh, Margot. Margo, you're a winner. Okay. And let's see. Number eight is Kimberly Engstrom. Okay. Number nine. All right, Chris says he's so excited. He loves this. At least he's not breathing at me today. <laughs> yeah, I hope he survives. Number nine is uh, Linda. I don't even know Linda's last name. But, Linda, you're a winner, and we will contact you via email. And last, but certainly not least, we got to get all the, the papers here. we got to get them all. Okay, number 10, Jolene Thompson, a very good customer of ours here in Geneseo. She wrote a lovely letter about her mom. I'm not going to read it to you because it's super long. But her mother was a first-generation American of Italian descent, and she wrote a lovely story about her. So I thank you for everyone that entered. If you're a winner, we'll contact you via email. And most importantly, all of you have a very happy Mother's Day.